Military helicopters hover over the Grand Princess, dropping coronavirus testing kits for some of the 3,500 passengers and crew now quarantined on board. It's understood dozens have shown flu-like symptoms and 45 have been tested on the cruise ship, which is currently off the coast of San Francisco while officials await results and decide where it should dock. A man in his 70s who'd recently sailed on it died after contracting the virus. 142 passengers on board are British. Our main concern is whether we can ensure those passengers that may be infected receive the care that is needed, those passengers not impacted can safely travel home, and the health and safety of our local community. With at least 12 people now confirmed to have died in the U.S. from the virus and more than 200 cases in 20 states, the president's announced a multi-billion dollar emergency aid package to help contain the virus. So we're signing the 8.3 billion. I asked for two and a half, and I got 8.3, and I'll take it. But amid criticism, the president has downplayed the virus, and after an exodus of scientists from his administration, there are questions over whether it's up to coping. The vice president has acknowledged that they currently do not have enough testing kits. And in California, a nurse who's become ill and is now in quarantine after treating a coronavirus patient issued a statement through her union rep that the authorities won't test her. They said they would not test me because if I were wearing the recommended protective equipment, then I wouldn't have the coronavirus. What kind of science-based answer is that? As California awaits news from the Grand Princess, the World Health Organization says it's concerned that in some countries, the level of political commitment does not match the level of threat we all face. It added, this is not a drill. Catherine Jacob, 5 News.